Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. Uh, these are both uh, new Pena X series knives from, well, they were sent by Crane's Cutlery. I don't know if they're an exclusive or not. I'm about to get into them. I will link them right down below because they should be available right now. You should actually be able to buy these. These are pretty cool. Thanks so much to uh, Crane's Cutlery for sending these in for me to take a look at. These will go back to Crane's Cutlery when I'm done. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay, so both of these are called the Micro Apache. I uh, am a big fan of the Pena X series. Um, Pena knives, uh, these produ the production line is manufactured by Riot, so the production quality is always very good. These are smaller guys, but <laughs> they, uh, they work really well, definitely. Um, this is kind of, you know, more along the same lines of what we have seen uh, from the Pena X series. These are just, they're just smaller, right? So in this case, we have, did it say green? It said green, but we got red here. <laughs> no big deal. Uh, red fat carbon looks good. I'm going to guess that these are exclusive through Cranes Color. So if you want these specifically, you'll have to go through Cranes. It's kind of nice. I mean, for such a small knife, it does front flip super well. I mean, that's, you, you know, as long as it's designed by somebody who knows what they're doing and it's manufactured by somebody who knows what they're doing, which is the case here. Um, then yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have a knife that's gonna work correctly, even if it is tiny. Now, for people who don't like tiny knives, you're not gonna like this. Obviously, um, I can only get three fingers on this, which personally, for me, I'm not the biggest fan of knives that I can't get a full purchase on. And generally, it's not because I feel like I have to have a full purchase to use a knife. It's just what I enjoy carrying and using. But if you like smaller knives, I mean, hey, M390, Warncliffe style blade, titanium. Well, it's like a faux bolster lock. Red fat carbon and milled titanium clip. I don't know what these cost, but they're definitely made well. And then the other one here, uh, let's take, oh, the thing came apart there. Um, let's open this up here. Maybe this is the green one. Maybe they're just in backwards. Nope. <laughs> they're both red. They're both, are they both red? What happened? Yeah, we. Yeah, I got two red ones. <laughs> So at least here, I think he meant he probably meant to send me a, send me a green and a uh, a red to check out, and then they ended up both being one of the boxes was mislabeled or something. Come on, there we go. But you can see here there's some variation in the carbon fiber. Um, personally, I would I like the one on on the right. It looks like there's more black. I kind of like, you know, if we're gonna do a colored carbon fiber, I would prefer. Uh, a little bit more black, right? But I personally probably wouldn't go with red. I think probably the green or the blue if I was going to do that. That's probably what I'd go with. Both of these feel exactly the same. So if you're going to go with one of these, I mean, it's generally the case with Riot. Like whether you're going to front flip it or you're going to top flip it. It's actually, it works really well. Like for how tiny it is, right? You can see here, you know, even left-handed, I'm really not having any trouble manipulating it. Can I do it like that? Yeah, definitely. Uh, not really having any trouble manipulating it at all. It's just really tiny. There's contouring. The uh, transition from the titanium to the fat carbon looks great. You can have a couple extra screws underneath here, but these all look to be T8, which is nice. They're shallow T8. I'd rather have a shallow T8 than any T6, if I'm being honest here. Nice big... The retention on the uh, clip is in, ridiculous. So it's a soup, the tension is almost too much there. Uh, Backspacer looks good. Centering looks good on both of these guys. Yeah, that's nice. And your lockup for it being, you know, such a teeny tiny little knife is honestly really good. I don't know that there's a whole lot more I can say. I mean, I'll review this, but it'll probably be a pretty quick review. It feels pretty good, right? Uh, this is one of those knives that is small and is made by Riot and has special materials, right? So it's probably pretty expensive. And generally speaking, with people looking for knives, if it is a small object, it's just really hard for people to justify the price tag. I don't even know why I'm saying it. People are going to get mad either way. So there you go. It just is what it is, guys. Um, the size of the object rarely has to do with the price, right? Now, you know, this exact thing made larger would probably cost a little bit more money because there's more material and then there's more machining to do, right? But we can't say, you know, 
If I can get a tiny knife at Home Depot for $57, or not even that, $27, right? Uh, well, the thing at Home Depot is not made the same way. So the only, the only thing that is similar in that comparison is that the object that you are comparing is also a small object. Uh, <laughs> what are you going to do, right? They're there if you want them. You should Either way, you should check out Trans Cutlery. The reason that I like to check stuff out from them is because they have some of the coolest exclusives available on Earth, like in the knife world. They have some of the coolest exclusives that you will see anywhere. So check them out, absolutely. That's going to be pretty much it for the unboxing. Uh, you'll see the full review of this knife, the full comprehensive review uh, a few weeks from now. And then these will go back to Crane's Cutlery. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives. They're either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.